Hello friends, in this video we are going to continue building our uh, Magento 2 block extension and we are going to cover a block listing page where we will add additional information for an individual post so this block listing page will give us more information about block and what actually inside. My name is Max Pronko and if you missed previous uh, tutorials, previous videos, please go check out magemastery.net. It's a website with online courses and one of the online courses, it's a free course, it's called Magento 2 Blog. And you can find videos as well as source code so you can follow these tutorials. We're going to modify this blog page and instead of just rendering a post title, we will add information like title, author, uh, date of uh, post publication and maybe some additional information however we will create a mechanism or a template a post.phtml template that will be responsible for a post card on a blog page so first of all inside post.phtml file there is a line that is responsible for rendering post title and instead of this line we are going to remove this line and we're going to have a post block uh, retrieved from the get child block from a parent block and this post block it's an alias is going to be added via xml file however let's finish uh, this modifications so the idea is that we are going to use post view model and we will use get post HTML and we will pass two parameters a post block and a post and let's go inside a view model post view model and let's add a new method function get post how we are calling it get post html and that post html is going to be resp responsible for preparing a block and rendering um, html that we will output in post.phtml file so we need to pass two arguments it's going to be a block and an instance of a post Let's add a model, post model, and let's import use magenta framework view element template class that is going to be used as our argument next we will use a block and we will set data and i will set post and then as a result this block will return html by calling to html so this is the first part second part we need to do is we need to add post phtml file and this is going to be our file for a postcard here i will add mage mastery block model post and i will declare it here so i can reference to this uh, post class then i also need to add magenta framework view element template again this is going to be and we can start adding some html markup so i'm going to add a link that will include a title of a post and i will do this by using post get data title 
also I will add paragraph and I will add two elements. First one is let's call it after. First one is after it's a span and second span is going to be published date. And for this we are going to render post get data creation time. As you remember creation time is stored in a database as a date time uh, and this date time I would like to convert to more readable uh, format so I will use block format date uh, method to convert uh, creation time. Finally here I will add content usage that is going to be used as a description. For the post URL here I need to use URL interface for uh, retrieval of base URL. So in order to do this I would prefer creating a view model that is going to be responsible for preparation of post URL because that post URL will include a block part of a URL. So it's going to be like domain name slash block slash URL key of a post. For this I would need to add post view model and I will retrieve it from a get data method cost of post view model and for this I would need to update XML file and also I would need to return a post. So as you remember in view model we assigned post to a post uh, key and here in a template we retrieve it by using the same post key. And when I have a view model I will use get post URL and will pass post into that method so it will prepare post URL. Next I would create view model that is going to be responsible for additional uh, preparation of a post PHTML file. As always all view models should implement argument interface. And we are going to implement get post URL. We will pass post as an argument and we will retrieve a string. As for dependencies, we need to include URL interface and I will use construct method and URL interface from Magento framework. And here I will use this URL, we'll call get base URL, we'll concatenate it with um, a string that is block and we'll use get data URL key. There is other ways of preparing post URL. Please let me know in the comments below this video how you would implement get post URL method uh, and do it in a different way. And also we need to add Image mastery block model post. Let's call this as a post view model. So there is no confusion, naming confusion uh, with uh, post model. And this is our implementation of get post URL. And we have to go back to 
image mastery block index index.xml file and after um, pager we can add a new block let's add template post.html and this block will have arguments post view model so this is an object image mastery block view model post view model also we need to add as post so in the post.phtml template we can get uh, use get child block method call it uh, call the block by alias retrieve an instance of this block and use it in a post view model then it will set post into block so we can call our post.phtml file we can prepare all the uh, postcard or html markup for a individual post and then we can render it back for every post uh, that we render on block listing page you can notice that we have hard-coded uh, string that is author that's because as of now in our db schema xml there is no author uh, field and this is something we are going to cover in the upcoming tutorials as a result we have a new card a postcard that includes a link to a individual post um, title author name and a date and if we can inspect a link we can see that it includes block um, part of the url however if we will click to that link it will show us that page is not found and this is something we're going to implement in the upcoming tutorials please make sure to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss the new tutorials and check magemastery.net for the lessons and source code of this video